Hey guys, it's Tyler here. In this video, I wanted to talk about ideas that I had for a hunting slash fishing game combo that I had for a while. I'm going to be splitting this kind of video up into two separate videos. This video is going to be talking about the maps that I have planned and the species that are going to be on it. The next would be like the weapons, equipment, and all that that I have planned for like the base game. And then maybe I'll make a third video where it's like talking about like future content and all that. But anyways, let's focus on the maps and the animals that will be on them. Do keep in mind, this is all just ideas and all that. It's not a surefire guarantee that this idea of a game I have will become a reality. So do take this with a grain of salt. So if this game were to come out, th there would be three hunting maps and two fishing maps that I would have. And I'm going to go over all of them in this video. So I've done research on all these areas and I've picked animals that would be perfect for these maps just because they're in those areas and they would just be perfect and I think a lot of you guys would love these choices and all that. I'll start off by talking about the three hunting reserves and then I'll talk about the two fishing reserves. So the first map I would choose is a Pacific Northwestern United States map. It's more specifically Washington State. I think that would be a good place to start off for North America. And I do think there's a lot of variety there. There's not as much variety as the next map, I will say that. But let's talk about the species that I would have on this map. So it would be a nice mix of small game, big game, and waterfowl for this map. My Pacific Northwest map, aka my Washington State map, would have 31 species. Those species are mallard duck, wood duck, green wing teal, blue wing teal, Northern Pintail, Gadwall, Northern Shoveler, American Black Duck, Golden Eye Duck, Canada Goose, Ruffed Grouse, Ringnecked Pheasant, Northern Bob White Quail, Chuckar, which is a bird species that has been introduced into that area, Maryam Turkey, Cottontail Rabbit, Snowshoe Hare, Raccoon, Red Fox, Gray Fox, Coyote, Bobcat, Colombian Blacktail Deer, white-tailed deer, and mule deer. And the three of these deer species I'm hoping would have non-typicals whenever the game does launch. And the other species include bighorn sheep, mountain goat, Roosevelt elk, Shira's moose, black bear, and mountain lion. That right there is the species list I would have for my Pacific Northwest map. I think it's a nice variety, like I said. So the second map I have planned, you guys will love this. This is a map based in Southern Africa, and there are 40 species that I have planned for this map. There are mostly big game species, but there's also a handful of small game and four waterfowl species. The species roster for the Southern Africa map is Red-Billed Teal, Yellow-Billed Duck, Egyptian Goose, Spurred Wing Goose, Helmeted Guinea Fowl, Sand Grouse, Cape Hare, Black-Backed Jackal, Spotted Genet, Caracal, Serval Cat, Clip Springer, Steenbuck, Spotted Hyena, Common Warthog, Ostrich, Nile Crocodile, Bushbuck, Springbuck, Impala, Lowland Nyala, Blessbuck, Red Hardybeast, Blue Wildebeest, Black Wildebeest, Plain Zebra, Waterbuck, Gemsbuck, Roan Antelope, Sable Antelope, Greater Kudu, Eland Antelope, Cheetah, African Leopard, African Lion, Cape Buffalo, Common Hippopotamus, Southern White Rhinoceros, Giraffe, and African Bush Elephant. So one thing I want to mention with the Cheetah, Giraffe, Hippo, Rhino, and Elephant, there's going to be limitations with hunting them, and it's going to require you to purchase a certain tag in order to hunt a couple of them, which would be anywhere from three to five of that specific species. That could change for the hippo, but I mostly want it to be a thing for the cheetah, rhino, elephant, and giraffe. But anyways, let's get on to the next map that I would have for the base game. So the third base game map I have for hunting would be New Zealand. And there are only 22 species, so there's not a lot as the other two, but I still think it's a decent variety for a New Zealand map. And the species roster includes Paradise Duck, Gray Duck, Black Swan, California Quail, brown quail, Indian peafowl, yes they are a thing there that people hunt, weasel, European brown hare, 
European Rabbit, Bennett's Wallaby, Brushtail Possum, Feral Goat, Wild Hog, aka Feral Pig, Feral Hog, Wild Sheep, Shammy, Wild Boar, Sika Deer, Fallow Deer, Rusa Deer, Red Deer, Sambar Deer, and the one and only Himalayan Tar. Now this roster could change in the future, I could add more species, but this is just what I have for now. So now we get on to both of the fishing maps. The first one is a North America map based in Pennsylvania. Originally I had it planned to be based in the Kawartha Lakes region in Ontario, Canada. But I decided to change my mind and switch it up to Pennsylvania because the same fish species that I was planning for that map are on this one. And I decided to add a bunch more to this one. So the species of fish on the Pennsylvania map are Largemouth Bass, Smallmouth Bass, Rock Bass, Striped Bass, White Bass, White Perch, Yellow Perch, Bluegill, Pumpkin Seed Sunfish, Green Sunfish, Long Ear Sunfish, Red Ear Sunfish, Red Breast Sunfish, Blue Spotted Sunfish, Walleye, Sauger, Muskie, Tiger Muskie, Northern Pike, Chain Pickerel, Redfin Pickerel, Grass Pickerel, Brown Bullhead, Channel Catfish, Rainbow Trout, Brook Trout, Brown Trout, Golden Trout, Lake Trout, Common Carp, White Crappie, Black Crappie, Long Nose Gar, and Chinook Salmon. So it's a nice variety on that map. Now for the second map, it's actually a South Africa map. And there's not a lot on this map. I try to make it to where both fishing maps have their unique set of fish species. So for some of these fish, I had trouble trying to find pictures of them. So if you don't see pictures of them, it's because I had trouble trying to find one for that species. So the South Africa map includes tigerfish, African pike, tench, silver catfish, blunt toothed catfish, sharp toothed catfish, red breast tilapia, greenhead tilapia, three spot tilapia, brown spot largemouth, purple face largemouth, humpback largemouth, thin face largemouth, rainbow bream, green bream, banded jewelfish, and the Nembue, aka the Zungwa. So yeah, there's, like I said, not a lot of variety for that one. But the reason I decided to go with that is just that way all maps have their own unique set of species. I could change that and add some species to other maps and all that. If this game actually does happen, which we all know it's more likely just a fantasy dream, but you never know. So for both of the fishing maps, the Pennsylvania map has 34 species. And the South Africa map has... 17 species so both of those maps combined with the three hunting maps there would be a whopping 144 species to hunt and catch at launch that would be a lot and that would make sure to have a large trophy room or trophy lodge so that way you could display all these trophies and all that that you hunt or catch you know i think it would be really cool because then you could have a there's a lot of variety that you could go after Although, this would probably take up a lot of storage on a PC or a console. That is, if it was to ever come out, like I said. But anyways, guys, that's gonna wrap it up. Next episode, we'll be talking about the gear, weapons, calibers, and all that that I would plan to have at the start of the game. And then I may make a bonus one where I talk about future content for the game. If you enjoyed, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Check out the Discord server. Thank you guys for watching. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. Survive.